put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Stop. Go away. Wake up, it's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... 
And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Good day. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine, 
I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Suspicious to me, tramp. Ah, this is the drop, and you, the bigger drunk, I insist. Uh, help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Set witches earn more. Old villagers pitching. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master. You best watch your words. We share a trade, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Shut it. You'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? Out of my way. We won't do it. I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witch of some manners. Seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. Your bread, your coin, all this shite. That would be me, as I believe I see a challenger who seeks to subdue Pile Driver. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop. From Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. 
What say you? Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Fucking come on! <laughs> and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing and blowing. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has... abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers, I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. 
Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Not your lucky day.
God. A reaper's come from here. Yes, you! You've got water on the brain! 